Last year, total trade between Kenya and South Africa was only 6.5 billion South African rands, a fraction of what it can be. Your Excellencies, South Africa exported key inputs into Kenya's industrial supply chains, including coal to power Kenyan industry, particle board used to make furniture here, steel to be transformed in Kenya, and car kits that are assembled in Kenya. Kenya is now South Africa's largest global supplier of fresh flowers. But we also recognize that the overall level of trade is not sufficient. Indeed, it went down in both 2020 and in 2021. And in particular, South African exports declined, which we look to reverse. At the same time, there's vast scope for more Kenyan products in the South African market, from the delicious teas and range of fruits to Kenyan manufactured articles. Minister Kuria and I are already working on unlocking those opportunities. Firms from both sides see opportunities to invest. There's a Kenyan investor in South Africa in a large nut plantation uh, in uh, macadamia nuts. P.G. Bison has invested in Kenya manufacturing uh, for furniture and Distel in beverage manufacturing. Standard Bank and MTN are investing in Kenyan infrastructure. All of this is about growth, about jobs, about trade. Trade, Your Excellencies, have been in the blood of our people for many centuries. Communities in present-day Kenya and South Africa were part of the great network of trade routes that stretch along the Swahili coast the great trading centers of Mombasa, of Lamu, of Malindi, and Gede. And this community connected with the southern African kingdom of Mapungupwe. These trading cities also traded with the rest of the world, with China, with Europe, with the Middle East. And they connected parts of the African continent, facilitating the flow of goods among Africans in gold and salt, in beads and carvings, in ivory and gum, in metalworks and textiles. Colonialism interrupted and deeply damaged the indigenous development of African trade and caused harm to our societies that has lasted for centuries. Today, Africa has the opportunity to decisively turn the corner, and that's what the state visit is about. His Excellency President Ramaphosa, His Excellency President Ruto, leading the way to reverse the legacy of the past. And so today, we have this opportunity to hear from the two excellencies on their vision, and as uh, members of the respective cabinets, we've already put to, uh, been put to task to step up the work that we do in order to address all the challenges that have come out in the business forum, in the bilateral trade talks,